Project management program at McEwen University is reopened for January 2024 intake. In this video, I am sharing all the details about the program, university, and the location as well. So watch this video till the end. We have a great visa success rate in mature cases where the age is about 30, 35, even age 40 as well. There are so many students who have already got visa with this type of complex cases. So to apply with me, ping me on WhatsApp or call me on my number. Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel, Immigration Gurus. This is Jitendra Grover. In this video, I am sharing all the details about the program, which is project management, quite popular and McEwen University, which is in Edmonton, about the location, PR prospect, job prospect, etc. in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. So it is quite popular program. And uh, I guess in last intake, we have uh, uh, sent more than 100 students to McEwen University. Everyone is liking uh, it till now. And uh, probably in next intake, general intake, we want to send more students to McEwen University because of the location, because of the low cost of living. And there are so many benefits. So I am sharing all the details about uh, uh, this program, university, and the location in this particular video. So here is the good news. Uh, project management program, which was closed for January intake, uh, university has reopened it till July 30th, 2023, and we can sit, still submit applications for uh, January intake. We are trying to extend the, this date further after July 30th as well, but till now university hasn't confirmed it. So till uh, July 30th, at least uh, we can submit application. So try to give your documents at least three, four days before uh, 30th uh, July, maybe till July uh, 25th, so that uh, your application and documents reach to the university on time and you can secure your admission uh, quickly for general intake. Otherwise, you can lose general intake and then uh, you, you may require to go for any other college or university and you may not get any option in Alberta. It can, it can happen. Or you may require to go for a further intake and which will be a loss of time for you. We still have five months, more than five months of time left in general intake. So you should try to secure your admission as soon as possible. Later on, you can decide when you are going to take your IELTS, you can take your, uh, your other tests uh, or PT or uh, any other test for your visa application. That can be done later on, but at least for admission, you should secure your admission as soon as possible. That is quite important. If you are watching my videos for the first time, please uh, save the numbers of uh, admission helpline if you require any support in admission or there is any issue going on. Uh, and uh, save visa helpline number as well in case uh, you are on visa stage and uh, there is any issue. In that case, both of them can connect you with me and the uh, teams as well. So here are the details about the program. McEwen University has one year of uh, PG diploma in uh, project management. Fee is $18,700. Application fee is $110, but you can get 50% application fee waiver. There will be a coupon code in this uh, video. And if you are going to use that coupon code and if you, if you are going to share it with the admission team, uh, application fee will be $55 for you. So you can save 50% on your application fee. It is open for general intake, which is reopened now. So you should secure your uh, admission as soon as possible. So probably in next one week, uh, eight, nine days, you should give your document so that we can submit your application successfully. Admission criteria at McEwen University is really, really lenient. So uh, you require two year of UG diploma after 12th to secure your, your admission. You require 50% marks. In some cases, we have secured admission even if the student had less than 50% marks. So it is quite, quite, quite easy to secure admission in McEwen University project management. And uh, I always say that if you cannot get admission in McEwen University uh, in this particular uh, program, in that case, you may not even get admission in any other college or university. So university is quite flexible about the admissions. And if you have some experience, in that case, university always values your uh, experience and they do not create any issues about your percentage in your bachelor's degree or in your UG diploma. So uh, getting admission is quite easy. You can secure admission with IELTS 6 in all modules. So, so that is one requirement, TOEFL 80. And if you don't have uh, these two tests, in that case, you can take Duolingo as well to secure your admission. But interestingly, you can secure admission without any test as well. You can have medium of instruction letters from your college or university uh, that you have completed your previous education in English. And with that as well, you can uh, secure admission. In many uh, cases, I have found that in provisional, it is written that you have completed your uh, education in English. If you are unable to get it, uh, we can help you in this particular process of getting this uh, medium of instruction letter so basically uh, you can believe that you can get admission without any test if you haven't taken your IELTS, uh, TOEFL or any test PD in that case uh, with many of instruction letter as well you can secure admission CBU is one more university where you can secure admission with medium of instruction letter and McEwen is another university so getting admission in McEwen is quite easy so if you are waiting for your IELTS or PT or any other test 
do not wait for it. We can just proceed for your uh, admission without any test and you can secure your admission now. Later on, you can take your IELTS PT and this type of test uh, for your visa application. But for now, just without any test, we can secure admission. That is a great news about McEwen. Any kind of study gap is accepted. In almost all the universities, study gap is not an issue. So uh, you can have uh, any age. Uh, we have sent students uh, at age 45, uh, at age 47 as well in McEwen University. So no need to worry about your study gap. It's not a problem. And visa success rate is also really awesome. Location is awesome. Everything is awesome. It is a public university. So everything is pretty awesome about uh, this program and the university as well. No backlog certificate is needed. So if you have backlogs or extended degree, so it's also not a problem. So everything is cool about admissions. So don't worry about admissions. Most probably you are going to secure admission without any issue in McEwen. Uh, related to location. So uh, the location of the university is downtown uh, Edmonton. And uh, I have seen the university. University is pretty awesome. It's really great. And uh, it, it is distributed in many buildings. So you are going to enjoy it. And you are, you are going to have a lot of fun uh, while studying at McEwen University. And uh, there are many colleges and universities around uh, McEwen. Uh, so uh, the location wise, the location is really, really awesome. Uh, there are two, uh, you can divide uh, uh, Edmonton in two parts. I used to live in North part uh, and most of the Indians, uh, you can say that they are living in South part. South part, part is more populated compared to North. And uh, if you are a bit worried about accommodation, if you are a bit worried about your job prospects, then in that case, you can search for those things in North part. Mostly you will find your friends or family members or any anyone living on South side. So uh, if you want to uh, explore more options in that case you can go to north side as well uh, there is there are popular uh, uh, real estate management companies boardwalk i used to live uh, in in a building uh, which is owned by boardwalk so you can try boardwalk as well for uh, your accommodation that's how you can secure accommodation and on north side i have found people who are living in south side and working on north side so you can also do the same as well so you can decide where you want to live and uh, how you are going to find your jobs so you can explore both the parts of the city so that you have more options either for accommodation and for jobs as well now moving on towards uh, frequently asked questions there are so many questions people ask me again and again and i want to explain all of them uh, in detail the first question is, is one year of study sufficient to get the PR in Alberta? As you are moving to Alberta, in that case, one year of study can be sufficient for you to get uh, the PR. But there can be different scenarios uh, to get your PR in Alberta. So uh, one thing is, uh, after completing one year of study, you are going to get uh, one year of PG work permit. Mostly the processing time, if you are submitting online application for PG work permit, the processing time is around three to four months. So you get this extra period in which while your online application is getting processed, in, in that duration as well, you can work and it is counted towards your PR. So you can complete your one year of experience during your 15, 15 to 16 month of your PG work permit, which is 12 months of PG work permit and three or four months of processing period. During this period, it is possible to complete one year of uh, experience. In case you are not able to complete this one year of experience, in that case as well, at last worst case scenario, you can go for uh, go towards LMIA as well. But still, it is worth taking a chance how you can decide about it. So uh, if you, uh, there are two, two scenarios. One is if you are single, second, if you are not single, if, if, if you are traveling with family. So these two, two types of scenarios can be there. So if you are uh, single in that case, uh, if you don't take second year of uh, study, in that case, you are going to get uh, one year of uh, PG work permit after one year of study. And with that PG work permit, probably you are having 15, 16 months of period to complete one year of experience. Mostly after this experience, you get enough Sierra score so that you can get uh, a PNP draw from Alberta. So that is possible. There are other options as well, like uh, Alberta Accelerated Tech Pathway, which is right now going on. And in that, you can complete, uh, you can get offer letter from a technical company, uh, tech-based company in Alberta. If you get that offer letter without having any experience, you can still get the nomination uh, in Alberta and you can get it uh, like uh, the entire process completed maybe within two months. So, and after that, you can get uh, PR from the entire Canada through Express Entry. So it is quite possible. So uh, if you are single in that case, during your period of work permit, in that period, you can get your PR, it is possible. Worst case scenario, if you, if you don't get it, then you can go towards LMIA and it is also possible. Why it is a good option? Because 
you are not paying the fee of second year. So you are saving money on that. Second, you are earning while working full time as well. So you are earning one side and saving money on uh, your second year of study in both the scenarios, combining both of them. Uh, you should not uh, be worried about uh, paying for LMIA if, if in case you need to uh, go for LMIA. So I guess that is a good option. You can drop your study after one year of experience. If you have some kind of assurance uh, that in uh, during your PG work permit period, uh, you you are going to get some kind of full-time job and you can proceed uh, proceed for your PR in that scenario. So if you have some kind of assurity uh, during your work permit uh, that you are going to get full-time job, and that is leading to it, uh, leading to PR. In that case, no need to worry about it. And you can directly go for PG work permit rather than studying for the second year. There is one more scenario. If you are married and if you are uh, traveling with family, then your husband or wife, they can also be eligible uh, who are on work permit already, open work permit already. If, if you are on study visa, your spouse is on open work permit. So uh, your spouse can also get your PR. So your spouse can become eligible. And if your spouse becomes uh, eligible in that case, you can be sure that you need not to worry for second year and uh, you, you can drop your study and directly go for PG work permit. So if you are married, you have two chances or two ways to get your PR. One is your spouse can also get your PR, become the primary applicant. And after, after becoming, uh, after going towards your uh, PG work permit, during your PG work permit, after completing your experience, you can also uh, get the PR. So both of you can get PR, husband or wife, uh, uh, anyone can get PR. So you have double chance or double ways of dual ways of uh, getting the PR. Anyone can become primary applicant and uh, apply for PR. So that's how you can proceed towards your PR. Same, if you are unable to get your PR at the end of your uh, PG work permit, in that case as well, you can go towards LMI and uh, uh, it's not a problem. So overall in Alberta, you have great chance of getting your PR with one year of study as well. When you can decide to go for a second year of study uh, in between your study, after five or six months, you can decide whether to go for a second year of, uh, of study or not. So after reaching Canada, after reaching Edmonton, Alberta, you can decide uh, after completing your study for uh, four, five, six months, you can decide whether to go for a second year study or not. And we can secure admission for you easily. And visa extension is also quite easy once you are inside. Uh, it is not that tough as, as we are processing it uh, from outside. It is not that tough. It is quite easy. Document requirement is easy as well. So don't worry about the visa uh, extension. It can be done easily uh, once you are inside Canada. Uh, for now, you can just focus on your first year of study. And after reaching here, after reaching Canada, then we can decide upon uh, your second year of study or going towards PG work permit. So it is possible to get PR with one year of uh, uh study and one year of experience as well it is possible second popular question is is one year of study sufficient to get a spouse open work permit the answer is yes so one year of uh, study is going to give you 50 approximately 15 to 16 month of visa which is more than enough to get a spouse open work permit right now from india and from other places as well uh, the timeline for spouse open work permit is around one month so it is quite easy to pro uh, get the application process during this period and uh quite easy to get a spouse of power permit as well also there is one more additional thing that i do with uh, all of my clients so uh, if you are getting your uh, study visa uh, well before your travel to canada suppose i am applying for general intake now and if you get your study visa done uh, maybe at the end of august then there are more than four months available for us to get spouse open our permit and we submit application within 15 uh, 20 days of uh, your uh, uh, study visa stamp so after that it is quite possible for your spouse as well uh, to get spouse open work permit before even you traveling to canada so it is uh, very much possible so we do do that with almost all the applications and it is very much possible to get it done so don't worry about uh, your uh, uh, spouse visa application it can be done even before your start of classes as well and it can be done after your classes as well so don't worry about it you have enough time to get your spouse open work permit third question is uh cost of living and taxes so taxes are quite less in edmonton alberta alberta is the uh tax haven actually so it has uh, five percent gst and all so on any anything that you are going to buy or on your uh, sim cards or wh whatever services you are going to use a uh, maximum tax is five percent and uh, even the income tax taxes are also less in Alberta. Also, cost of living in terms of accommodation and groceries are also quite less. So you are going to save a lot of money. So it can be half of what you what you are going to pay in Ontario or in uh, uh, British Columbia. 
so it is it is quite a great place i i still miss living in edmonton because i was quite relaxed when i was there and uh, here i am paying kind of 2500 dollar uh, uh, per month in rent and there it was 1200 uh, approximately less than half so uh, there is a big big difference in rents and also grocery prices in bc are far higher compared to uh, edmonton so uh, it is it is going to be a really cost effective uh, place for you without any doubt next is indian community in edmonton yes uh, there is a big indian community in in edmonton so on south side mostly you are going to find uh, uh, places where indians are uh, well established uh, millwoods is one place i guess there are a lot more other places as well where you are going to find so many indians so you may find your friends family members anyone someone uh, living in edmonton so they can pick you uh, one uh, for the first time when you are landing in edmonton so you, uh, search for your uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram, you can find many people living in Edmonton as well. Next is job scenario in Edmonton. So I found that Edmonton has uh, so many companies and where the tech jobs are also available, non-tech jobs are also available, banking jobs, so so, so many types of jobs are uh, available in Edmonton. It is the capital of Alberta, so don't worry about uh, your job prospects. So uh, again, I have already shared that if you are unable to find jobs uh, on south side, you can try north side as well and different parts of Edmonton. Edmonton is quite big. So you can search for your jobs in different locations, different parts of Edmonton and uh, where uh, less number of students are living. In that case, you have more prospects of job on the, those parts. My wife, Anjali, she got a job in uh, uh, Freshco, which is a grocery retail chain. So uh, you can try different, different uh, prospects of job in different parts of Edmonton. So don't worry about your jobs, part-time and full-time. Uh, all kinds of jobs are available. There is AppCore, Suncore. These, these big companies are also there. Uh, electricity and I guess uh, these are petroleum companies I believe and these are really big companies and you can try your tech jobs as well in these companies because they have IT jobs, finance jobs, all kind of jobs are available in these companies. Last but not the least, people are worried about cold and snow but don't worry about cold and snow because there are going to be like 5-7 days which are going to be really cold, really windy. Uh, rest of the days are going to be fine. Edmonton has most number of sunny days, so don't worry about cold and snow in Edmonton. And all the buildings are heated, so don't worry about uh, uh, cold and snow. Uh, it is going to be outside, you are going to enjoy it. Inside, it is going to be perfectly fine. Here is the coupon code. Uh, just take the screenshot of it, TIG PM50, and you are going to get 50% application fee waiver, no matter when you are uh, going to share this screenshot. If you are going for project management, in that case, you will avail 50% application fee waiver on your first application. You can join TIG team as sales agent. Uh, you can ping me on 98123-8082 for more details. Also, take the screenshot of a uh, list of documents that you require to submit uh, for your admission purpose. Again, uh, you can secure your admission for uh, project management at McEwen University without IELTS PT, this type of test as well, with many of instruction letter. We can help you in getting that letter. So share all the other documents and we can get your admission uh, without English test, uh, test as well. To apply with me, you can ping me on my WhatsApp number 98123 You can call Shivani, Navneet, uh, Jyoti as well in case you are unable to reach me. It's not a problem. Thank you so much for watching this video till then. See you in next video.